Hey guys and welcome to RimWorld's very basic tutorial video to the user interface. Um, when I first started the game, I had I had no clue what these tabs all mean or how to even play the game. It was a struggle for me at the start and I'm here to help people out for those that are new. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, I will go over all of these tabs down here. I will explain in depth what they do and uh, how they're connected to each other. Often enough, one tab is connected to another one. Um, and I will also go over all these things over here. Although they may, they're pretty straightforward and self-explanatory, but I will, I will still go over it. Um, let's start from the architect tab. Uh, this is a tab where you construct everything. Uh, you also manage your zones here. You create growing zones, stockpile zones. You can deconstruct. Well, all in all, this is where all the construction and structures in the game lie. Uh, that's it for that tab. I'm not going to go too in-depth. I will be making separate video on the construction tab. And I will go over the production and everything. But for now, we're going to keep it very simple straightforward just to help you guys out with the user interface um, work tab uh, this is where you assign specific pawns to do things in a very specific order how it works is the ordering goes from left to right and the lowest number means that this is their highest priority so number one is the highest uh, number two is the, their second priority and so on and so on um, Yeah, that's that's pretty much the tab This is where you assign them to do whatever you want them to do uh, Restrict tab Again Fairly straightforward, but can be a little bit Difficult to understand and I will explain this to more in depth uh, Here's where you assign uh, your pawns speci specific things you want them to do let's say recreation you can tell them hey do recreation like two hours in the morning and two hours in the evening or you can tell them like hey uh, do anything at all or you can tell them like hey go and work your ass off <laughs> whatever you want to do with them that's that's how it works um uh, also uh, this is the most important part uh, you can assign your pawns a very, you can assign them into a specific area. As you can see here, we have a couple of areas here. I will show you in a moment. When you go into manage areas and let's say you create a new area, let's go ahead and create a new area and call this like people zone. Let's say this is what I usually call it. I call it people. It's very easy to understand. Um, uh, let's make a people zone. Now you need, remember when I said Sometimes a specific tab is related to another tab. Now, once you are done with the managing the zone, uh, you go into the zone tab and you go, let's say, expand zone. Let's go ahead and invert that. Invert means that it's going to make it available all over the map. So let's say go over here. Clear allowed area. Let's clear some of the other allowed area. Boom. Just, just as an example. And now we can go back to the assign tab, sorry, the restrict tab. And now you can tell each of your people to be restricted into that specific zone. That's how it works. All right, let's go ahead and. Next tab, assign tab. Uh, this is by far, I think, the most complex tab. Uh, this is where you assign all the outfits, the food restrictions, and the trucks to specific people. Uh, now, why do I say this is the most complex tab? It's because each pawn comes with a very specific set of uh, traits that they have. Uh, they can be gourmands, they can be, you know, w w whatever traits you can have in the game. And traits come with very specific things. Like, let's say some... Some pawns are nudist, meaning that, hey, I want a outfit that would fit 
that specific pawn with that trait and make sure that they don't go wearing things that you don't want them to wear. Um, although generally you still need to wear things in the game because of, you know, temperature and whatnot. Uh, but I'm just bringing a good example here. So let's say you need to make a new outfit. You go here, you make a new outfit. You tell them like, let's say, don't wear tainted. You can also tell them to, hey, don't wear anything that has a durability that is less than 49%. Then you name that, you close it, and then once you're done with that, you can assign it over here. Now, here's something that I recently, a couple of weeks ago, I found out, or well, I was told, <laughs> is that you can actually, you don't have to click this. You can also hold down and assign to multiple people at the same time. You, you need, need to just hold down your left mouse. Um, again, it just saves time because uh, at the end of the day, you might have multiple pawns and you don't want to like click this all over again. I used to do that. Very annoying, by the way. Uh, anyway, so, and you can do the same thing for meds. You can assign them different meds. Uh, I'm not going to go over the food restriction tab. It's the same way. You go into the food. You tell them which type of food you can, uh, which type of food they should be uh, eating and not eating. Uh, generally, don't want them to eat rotten, of course, or corpses, you know. And you take this off and you assign them the same way. Same goes with the uh, trucks. Uh, yeah, that's it for the assign tab. There is not much here to go over anymore. Animals tab. This is where you. Um, this is where your animals are, the, the animals that belong to your colony. Um, you tell your people to, you can tell your people to train them or not train them, let's say. Um, and whoever is assigned to animal handling over here will take care of whichever you told them to do. You can also tell your animals to follow whoever their master is. So whoever, like whichever pawn is assigned to master those animals you can tell them to hey follow them when they are drafted now by drafted i mean when you go down here there's a draft button and when you press that now they're in track mode so this is when the animals will follow that master which was totally not even the person that i just drafted <laughs> the real person that they would follow is kiwi over here um yeah uh, again, same thing. You can assign animals to a specific area the same way I just showed you earlier that you can do with your pawns. Uh, and you can also tell them, hey, use meds or don't use meds. Also, we have a Yorkshire Terrier, which I totally would like to slice and dice. And you can do that by clicking this and they will kill that, per uh, kill that dog off or whichever animal you have. In this case, I don't actually want to do that because they are bonded. Very sad story. They're, they're bonded. They, they already have a bond. But bad times. I know I'm now stuck with a Yorkshire Terrier that I totally don't want. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Um, wild dive. This is where you see all the animals, or not only animals, but all the creatures or humans in the current area where you live. Um, you can also see in detail as to what their stats are, how much damage they do, uh, what are the chances for, let's say, tame failure, uh, what are the odds for the tame failure, like, what are the odds for the animal to attack you back when you're trying to tame them. And in general, it just shows all the stats of the animal. They can have scars and whatnot. So yeah, there's that. Um, and it also shows you here by percentage of the chance of them attacking you back when you try to either tame or attack them. Very straightforward. Uh, research tab. Honestly, not a whole lot to go over here. I will be making, again, a separate video on, like, how I like to do research or what I think are personally the... The most important things in the research tree uh again this is just personal preference that doesn't mean 
it's the correct way for someone else. But I will be covering this more in depth in another video. But for now, all you need to know that this is a research tab. Uh, in order to research, you will need a research bench and somebody to sit at that research bench once you click this button here. Uh, quests tab, again, very straightforward. Uh, you will see all the available active missions or historical what you have done. And also as a preference, you can pick uh, who you would like to have that goodwill with. Let's say uh, there's only one faction for Royal Favor in the game, so that doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, again, fairly straightforward, right? Um, next tab, the World tab. Oh boy, uh, let's just put it this way. This is where you live, and this is the world where all the other factions live. But there are so many things that you can do here, and it is, I think, the hardest tab in the game to understand, because the caravaning in the game is, I would say, very complicated for... If you're a new player and you come in and you go like, oh, let's form a caravan. Yeah, it is not that straightforward. It is actually fairly complex, and I will be covering this section in a different video to explain everything more in depth. But in general, this is where you see the world, you see the other tiles, you may want to travel to another tile or you may want to have a trade caravan, uh, you want to go and trade with a friendly or neutral faction, or if you wish you can attack people, just make sure you're strong. And I mean very strong, if you actually want to do that. Anyway, uh, yeah. You can also form new colonies. This is this is also the tab for doing that. But I would like to cover all that in a separate video because otherwise this video will be very, way too long. And it is for the purpose of the basics of the user interface. That's all you need to know for now. I will be covering in another video more in depth. Like I already mentioned, like three times. <laughs> anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, this is the messages or, well, not messages, let's just say history tab. Um, this is where you see your wealth. This is your wealth. Um, yeah, that's all there is. It shows your wealth, your colony wealth. Uh, messages. This is actually a very, very important tab for the purpose of like, sometimes you get many events coming in and it's all a big pile of mess. This is where you want to go. To check what's happening, who's raiding me, what type of a raid it is, uh, what are they mechs, what what kind of cluster is it, what does it do, when does it go active, uh, okay, who's being hunted by this or that animal, uh, if you play on a higher difficulty, this is like the tab that you are stuck with, you really want to use that, but if you're on a lower difficulty, you might not even notice this and you might not even use that as often. Uh, but the statistics tab over here is very important, especially for those that want to tackle the higher difficulties in the game. Um, you want to manage your wealth, and this will show you your wealth with people and animals combined, buildings, items, uh, in the map in general. And it will also tell you the major threats, enemy raids, damage taken this map, and so on and so on. Uh, next tab. Factions. There's not a whole lot to go over here. It will show you uh, either the uh, uh, whether the faction is neutral to you, allied to you, or hostile to you. There are multiple ways of making uh, or getting goodwill. Is what it's called goodwill uh, with factions. Uh, you can release prisoners. Uh, you can rescue people when they walk off the map. After the rescue, when they walk off the map uh, in a good health or just in a, a live state, you gain goodwill. Um, you can give gifts to the factions. Those are just on from the top of my head that I can mention right now. I may have just gone over all of them, but yeah. That's how it works. And you can also see the statistics for each of these factions. Uh, I will show you like all these rankings over here for the Fallen Empire. Which you get for 
um, reputation. And yeah, that's about it for this tab. Next one, menu. Well, menu. Do I need to go over more? It's it's menu. That's all you gotta know. You can also click escape. To open the menu. <laughs> okay, that's that's it. That's menu. <laughs> Next thing. Uh, let's take a look at these things. Toggle automatic rebuild of destro uh, destroyed structures in the home area. Which means anything inside the home area will be automatically constructed again when they are destroyed. This covers absolutely any structure. Anything. Very straightforward. Um, toggle automatically expanding the home area around new constructions. I would recommend that you have this on because um you can get fires in the game and sometimes you may not notice that one part of your area or your you know um your colony zone is not home anymore and then the fire can spread very quickly so i'd recommend that you have this on so it will automatically do that you can also like clear the home area from specific parts if you really don't want it over there for example Oh, yeah. So that's what that does. Uh, next one. Toggle visibility of Terran affordance. Um, I have not personally used this as much. I, I don't know what the benefits. I can't tell you exactly what the benefits from this are. As you can see when I click it. It pretty much. Yeah. You see why. Uh, yeah. I haven't used it as much. So I'm not. I can't exactly tell you guys how this is useful not from my own experience at least um toggle fertility overlay this will show you the fertile well the fertility of the map you see this dark green zone over here this means anything that you grow in that zone will grow a lot faster and i mean a lot faster than growing things on this zone for example so why is this so important uh, this may determine where you want to have, where you want to build your colony. So it's a very important thing. And I, what I typically do is the first thing I do, I go, bam. Okay, where is, where could I grow really good amount of crops? This is pretty much the first thing that I do. Um, yeah, very useful. Toggle vis visibility of roofs. This just shows you which part is roofed and which part is not roofed. Uh, next, uh, toggle colonists bar. This just toggles the colonist bar in the top, as you can see. Um, I don't know why I would want to have this off. You possibly want to have this on. Um, toggle room stats display. Again, this is something that I always use. And it's actually very important. I would recommend that you have this on pretty much at all times. It will show you the dirtiness of the room how ugly or beautiful it is um why is it so important because your pawns have mood and you, this helps you control their mood in specific areas right so i would recommend you have this on uh, next thing toggle beauty display it's pretty much the same as toggle room stats display only that it shows you everything everywhere See those numbers over here? It shows that this is super ugly. Minus nine. Um, yeah. That's what that does. Again. Super useful. And the last thing. Toggle visibility of learning helper. Well. You don't see this right now. Because I actually completely disabled it in the options. But it toggles this. I'll show you in a moment. And there you have it. I mean, I, I just, like, you might as well just go and disable it here. And there you have it. Um, there you have it, guys. I think I covered everything. But feel free to let me know in the description below in case I didn't cover something or I left something uncovered. Did I? I did. Toggle visibility of zones. 
this just toggles you the zone visibility of you know in the it, it toggles the zones to be visible or not i prefer having them visible because uh i want to make sure that i see those zones that i manage all right yeah that's it i want to thank each and every one of you for being here do let me know in the des description below in case i miss something and how bad i am at it but i hope some of this comes helpful for you and i hope it gets you going in the game faster and in general i just hope that it helps you guys um thank you everyone for watching in case you would like to catch me catch any kind of live footage from me uh check out twitch you can find the twitch link down below in the description and that's it from me for this video i'll be seeing you guys in the next video where i will cover the construction part of the game the very basics of it um yeah thank you guys once more for watching thanks for being here and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye Come on, come on, and just take the high road. I'm trying to fly though. Wanna touch the sky, but still lie low. Never water down, even with the hydro. Vaporize the hate so I don't have to keep my eyes low. Hit eyes low, get it in in Norway. Cleanse palates with the callous man sorbet. Doorways open up, yup, more cakes. Soon enough the sweet turns sour, more court dates. We burn it down though, and just live it up. It sucks ass when they ask about a living trust. I don't have one, cause I don't have shit. And when I do, I'm probably gonna just stash it. It takes time for the interest to make sense It makes sense for the linguists to invest I've been blessed with the brain and some rhythm Those hands too square, I'm the tortoise and I'll win it Come on